Hey everyone, this is Nina G at Nina G Comic on YouTube. And, um, okay, I'm gonna mess up on your name. Um, Kat, hurry, Katuria, um, it asked me some interview questions. And he originally asked me to, to, to type them out, but, we both agreed that this would be a great way. Plus, on top of the stuttering, I have dyslexia. So I'd much rather talk things out, ironically enough, than to write it out. So this is how we're going to do the interview. And, and what we'll do is have it in, a, in segments. And Katuria can um, distribute it on the blog as he wants. And thank you so much for everybody in India being so nice and supportive and wonderful and great. I really appreciate all the comments that, that you guys have 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 given me. And I don't know what, what it's like to stutter there or to have a disability there, but um, I know it's it, it's different in every co country, so I really appreciate you guys contacting me, and I'd love to know more about your experiences. Um, okay, so the first thing I've been asked is, please tell tell a bit about your high school life. Uh, and for me, high school wasn't horribly hard, but it wasn't fun. Um, and, and like I said, I have dyslexia and this is where sometimes it's hard to separate out my stuttering and my d dyslexia because, um, my experience as a person with a disability and that's how I, I, uh, identify is really a intertwined in both stuttering and dyslexia. And I see, um, I, I was in a wedding a couple weeks ago, and I've been picking at the fingernail c color, so I'm sorry about the about the horrible nails. And also, I'm in a car. I'm waiting to go to a, a comedy club, which I do most Sundays, um, so this is before a show. So, okay. So, high school. Okay, when I came out of high school, um, I was, I, I went to Catholic school first through eighth grade, and in the 80s, it was really rough to be learning disabled or have a learning disability and be in Catholic school, because they made no accommodations, and so this put a lot of stress on me. Teachers would give me accommodations one week and then not the other, so this really cut down on my self-esteem. And, and what happened was when I got out of the eighth grade, um, I pretty much thought I was re retarded and I don't like to say the R word, but that is how I thought of myself at the time. And high school was actually academically, it was a really good experience because I learned that I wasn't, that I wasn't just as smart as everybody else, but these teachers did such a job on my self-esteem that I really felt I wasn't as smart as everybody else, or smart at all. Um, so high school really undid a lot of the Catholic school crap that I had. And maybe, you know, in, in India it might be more private school stuff, or, or more strict, or whatever. So, but in terms of stuttering, um, what I realized when I was like in seventh grade was that if I acted a little bit weird, I wouldn't st stutter as much. Okay. So, I, and I guess that was, you know, how you can get into a role, an actor who stutters can get into a role and not stutter as much. Well, that's kind of the role I took was to be kind of a weirdo. And, and it worked for me because I kind of am a weirdo, but I really exaggerated it too much and really wasn't my most authentic self. And so for me, um, that was a major thing, but then when I was a senior, I discovered the National Stuttering Association, and that's when I started to come out of that, where I was like, oh, you know, I can stutter, um, and, and it's okay. Um, and that was a new concept, 
Um, and it's not that my parents said I had to be fl fluent or anything, but it was just that perception that I had. Um, so finding the NSA when I was 17 was a really significant thing, and it, and it has been since then as well, because it just seems to be with me at every step of my de development. And that's why internationally, um, I, I know India has a, a stammering association and in Britain and Ireland and wherever you are just please find people who are like you who share your same experiences because it helps to validate who you are and what you can do um I didn't think the first question would take that long so I thought I could answer three but apparently I can't so what I'm gonna do is start off on the next question on the next vi video. So probably each of these is going to be about five mi minutes or so. All right, uh, I scratch my nose on film. All right, um, hopefully you'll see me on the next interview.